Hi and welcome to a lecture on menorrhagia. Menorrhagia is abnormal uterine bleeding that is characterized by prolonged or excessive menstrual blood flow which interferes with the quality of life and may result in iron deficiency anemia. Pharmacologic choices Hormonal therapies The combined hormonal contraceptives the mainstay for the treatment of menorrhagia has been the suppression of the pituitary ovarian axis using combined hormonal contraceptives containing estrogen and progestin. A variety of oral products as well as transdermal patch and vaginal ring are available. Progestogen only contraceptives. The term progestogen includes both natural progesterone and synthetic progestins. In women unable to tolerate estrogen or in whom estrogen is contraindicated, the progestogen-only contraceptives can be very useful in the treatment of menorrhagia. The gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonist. Suppression of the pituitary may be achieved using gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonists such as leuprolide, gosurelin, and nafarelin. Follicular development does not occur because follicle-stimulating hormone is suppressed and as a result the endometrium does not proliferate and amenorrhea occurs. Antifibrinolytics Medication that inhibit fibrinolytic activity in the endometrium are useful in the treatment of both acute and chronic menorrhagia. Intermittent regular dosing of oral tranexamic acid can be helpful for women with heavy periods who do not wish to use hormonal treatments. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs may decrease menstrual blood loss by inhibiting prostacyclin-mediated vasodilatation in the bacillus layer of the endometrium. Regular dosing reduces blood flow through the spiral arteries and is an effective treatment for menorrhagia. Many women who wish to avoid exogenous hormones are happy to choose this method. The progesterone receptor modulators are a promising addition to the treatment of menorrhagia. Ulipristal has been shown to be effective and well tolerated when used to reduce blood loss and size of uterine fibroids. In women who are eligible for surgery, preoperative treatment with ulipristal 5 to 10 mg daily for up to 13 weeks can be considered. Here again, the maximum duration of use is yet to be determined. 